Welcome to the Unit Circle Survival Guide. Today we're going to find an exact value using the Stark method. So we'll find the cosine of 225 degrees. So here's a template that you can use and it takes you through each of the steps. Um, if you need help with any of these basic things as we run through the steps, I'll post a link to that in the video description um, so you can get help mastering those basic skills. Um, but here's what we'll use. So S stands for sketch the angle. So we'll sketch the terminal side of the angle. The A stands for ASTC, which is our acronym that we use to decide which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. The R stands for reference triangle. So we'll find our reference angle and then we'll use that to get our special right triangle and the corresponding coordinates so that in step four we can calculate. That's the C and we'll simply use our trig ratio, perform the calculation with that ordered pair, and we'll have our exact value of the cosine of 225 degrees. So we first should start by sketching 225 degrees. We'll sketch the terminal side. So working our way around, we start at zero, we're rotating counterclockwise. We'd have 90 degrees here, a half rotation is 180, three quarters rotation is 270, and of course all the way around is 360. So we fall exactly between 180 and 270. So our terminal side should be sketched in just like this. So the terminal side of our angle is in quadrant three. All right, so now we're ready to decide if our final answer should be positive or negative. And just use ASTC, think all students take classes. And that tells you which trig functions are positive in each quadrant, starting with quadrant one. So they're all positive in quadrant one. The S stands for sine and its reciprocal cosecant will be positive in quadrant two. In quadrant three, tangent and cotangent are positive. And in four, cosine and secant would be positive. But let's focus on quadrant three, that's where we are. So only tangent and cotangent are going to be positive here. So we can make a note, our answer should be negative and let's go ahead and mark it in our final answer space as well. Okay, now we're ready for step three. We'll first find the reference angle. So that's the amount of rotation from our terminal side to the x-axis. So we know we rotated 225 degrees, so we just have to figure out how many degrees past 180 that is. So simply subtract 180 from 225, and we'll get our reference angle is 45 degrees. Okay, so that means we're working with the special right triangle that is a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. And we can draw it here just in the first quadrant. That's how we're gonna get the coordinates. We've already decided our final answer is negative, so no need to think about positive or negative. We're just working with those first quadrant values. So we know that the coordinates that correspond with this triangle are going to be the same. Both will be square root of two over two. And now we can move on to calculate. So on the unit circle, the cosine of an angle is simply the X coordinate. Not a lot of calculation going on here. Just look at the X coordinate. Remember that it's negative from step two. And we know the cosine of 225 degrees is negative square root of two over two. Be sure to check out the links in the video description if you want access to more worked examples of exact value or if you need help with any of the basic skills. And thanks a lot for watching.